Hello everyone, I am the reporter today for our work on the web conference 2022, um, which is entitled the Off-Policy Learning Over Heterogeneous Information for Recommendation. And my name is Xiamen Wang and I'm from the University of Technology, Sydney. In today's reputation, I will mainly talk about our work by the following aspects, including firstly, the background of the BIOS issue in of policy learning setting, and secondly, I will introduce our motivation for debiosing the recommendation system with context information. Then I will give the methodology of this work and follows the uh, evaluation. And lastly, I will make a conclusion about the contributions of this work. Uh, firstly, I would like to introduce the reinforcement learning based recommendation and illustrate why the off policy learning is important in the recommendation system. The reinforcement learning based recommendation is mainly developed for handling the user interaction dynamics. And given this toy example of the reinforcement learning based recommendation, the recommender first poses some specific actions. For example, some items uh, such as the earphones, and then the users may give the real time user feedback on the post actions such as the click or not. By learning through the real time user feedback, the recommender can realize the content discovery that adopts with the user dynamics and gain long term user satisfaction with the system. So, the main goal of the reinforcement learning based recommendation is to take the dynamic user feedback on actions to train the recommendation system, which we call it an agent, for learning an optimal recommendation policy. And the advantages of this manner is unique. Unlike some statistic methods such as the matrix factorization, uh, the reinforcement learning based recommendation can dynamically learn the recommendations based on user interactions with the agent. And although the advantages of this manner is unique, however, there is a severe challenge for uh, reinforcement learning based recommendation. Since the reinforcement learning requires the real time user interaction with user, that means in the recommendation scenario, the recommender should pose some untested actions to users to gain the real time user feedback. So this way, the user satisfaction with the recommendation system can be terribly hurt and also deteriorate the system profit. To the end, the data collection in the reinforcement learning based recommendation requires the agent to interact online with the users, which is infeasible and expensive. And um, on the contrary, the off policy learning can take the historical user feedback collected by the previous recommendation system and also achieve the dynamic recommendation policy learning. And given this picture to illustrate the off policy learning procedure, the off policy learning takes the collected user feedback during the first loop as the input for learning the target policy. And the learned target policy is used for um, deploy online to maximize the long term user satisfaction. So the off policy learning compared with the conventional um, reinforcement learning based method can achieve the policy learning through logged user feedback data without interactive access to the online environment. However, we must say that the challenges in off policy learning for recommendation is also severe. Here we denote the user feedback collection loop as a login policy and the policy deployment as the target policy. And as we can see from this distribution map, the two policies hold different distributions, which causes severe BIOS issues in the off policy learning setting. And the main reason is that the logged data can provide only the partial information while the rewards for these reactions are missing. And facing the advantages and the challenges in the of policy learning, next I will introduce our motivations of debiosing the recommendation uh, system in the of policy learning setting with the context information. There are some existing works that has already investigated the bias correction in off policy recommendation learning. And the most widely used method is what we call it the inverse propensity scoring method. 
And this type of method usually uh, reweights each sample via the propensity scoring by assigning low propensities to real actions, such as to force the target policy not to visit these real actions. Um, to the end, uh, this type of method will suffer from a really well-known phenomenon, which we call it the poor gets the poorer phenomenon. And I give an example illustrating the poor gets poorer phenomenon in this picture. Uh, as the real actions can never be visited again uh, with the constraint target policy, and in the recommendation scenario, this uh, manner would uh, result in a phenomenon that a uh, headset will never be recommended simply because it never appeared in the login policy. By doing this way, um, this type uh, this uh, type of, of method usually limited the exploration ability of the recommendation policy and also can terribly harm the user satisfaction by posing um, wrong recommendation items with low diversity. So facing this phenomenon, we argue that the real-world context information could be useful to infer the missing rewards of the real actions, such that to correct the bias in the off-policy learning setting. And given this picture as an example, the missing reward for the headset in the last example can be um, simply inferenced by incorporating an external heterogeneous information network. So uh, the previous missing headset can be ultimately being recommended for the user. And to this effect in this work, our investigation is to incorporate the context information in the heterogeneous information network to empower the all policy learning in the recommendation. And also, we want to develop an unbiased learning objective for achieving the unbiased of policy learning optimization. Next, I will go detailly through the methodology of this work. In this work, um, we proposed an off-policy learning framework over heterogeneous information for recommendation, and we call it the HIM policy. And our framework contains three main components. In the first component, we perform the context representation learning by a core attentive mechanism on the state action and context representations. And in the second component, we perform the um, HIN enhanced or policy learning by aggregating the context representations to learn the target policy. And in the final component, a counterfactual risk minimization is equipped to correct the discrepancy between the target policy and the login policy to perform uh, the unbiased uh, policy optimization. And next, um, we will introduce each compo uh, component detailedly in our HIM policy. And in the first context representation learning component, um, the first step is the the state representation initialization. And in this step, we take the user's historical interaction actions OT as input, and we pass the uh, GRU unit to learn the state representation ST. And in the next step, we perform the um, initialization of the action representations by trans uh, transforming the one hot representation AT of actions into low dimensional dense vectors. And in the third step, we perform the initialization of the um, context representation by uh, sampling uh, the meta passes that relate to users and items from the given heterogeneous information network and passes uh, some uh, CNN layers to learn the meta pass embeddings. And by um, the learned three uh, initialized representations, we finally perform the context representation learning by um, co-attentive on the state action and the context representations. And finally, we can get the user action interaction specific context representations through this component. The second component is the HIN enhanced policy learning component. It firstly incorporates the context, state, and action representations into the uniform context-aware state representation by concatenating each of the recommendations. Then, the HIE enhanced policy learning uses this context-aware state to parameterize the target policy pi theta by this equation. 
And in the last component, we approach the counterfactual risk minimization for the unbiased policy optimization. And at the core lies in the clipped estimator. And the clipped estimator caps the propensity ratios. Uh, in other words, the importance weight between the logging policy and the target policy to a maximum value to pursue the unbiased policy optimization. And by using this clipped estimator, we can pursue the unbiased policy learning by developing our um, learning objective in the last equation here. We then give our model evaluation of the proposed HIM policy model. And in the first experimental task, we compare the recomm um, recommendation performance of our proposed HIM policy with uh, the SODA models. And we can see from this table here that our proposed HIM policy can consistently yield the best performance among all data sets on both evaluation metrics. And the second finding is that although all the baseline models perform the worst on the sparsest Doban book data set, and, uh, however, our HIM policy can still outperform other models since um, the HIM policy incorporates the external heterogeneous information network information and can um, handle the data sparsity well. And in the second uh, evaluation task, we um, perform an ablation study on the heterogeneous information network in our HIM policy model. And we can see from this table here that our HIM policy model argumented with heterogeneous information outperforms the counterpart without incorporating an external heterogeneous information network. And um, in the figures here, we also um, investig how, uh, investigated how our uh, HIM policy model performs facing different um, user interaction sparsity. And uh, in this uh, four figures, we uh, div divided the users into four um, user groups um, by dividing uh, the user interaction with the um, items. Uh, for example, the minus 600 denoted that the users had at least 600 interactions with the items. And by comparing these four figures, we can see that the HIM policy equipped with the heterogeneous information can outperform the HIM policy model without incorporating the heterogeneous information in different user groups as denoted in these four figures. And also, we can see from these figures that the heterogeneous information has a critical effect on the sparsest Doban book data set, especially on the sparsest user group, uh, which is the user group with uh, minus 500 ratings. And um, in conclusion, in this work, we made the following contributions. Um, firstly, we are the first to leverage the contextual information in the heterogeneous information network to provide high quality target policy learning for correcting the bias in the off policy recommendations. And secondly, we developed a new end-to-end -end framework HIM policy, which achieves counterfactual risk minimization in an explicit manner under the core attention mechanism. And in the experiment part, we generate an online environment using the simulators to carry out experiments on two benchmark data sets, with the exten extensive results show that our model outperformed the state-of-the-art method. Um, so this is pretty much my presentation today. Um, thanks for listening. And any questions or comments from the audience?